What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the gameplay ability system in Unreal Engine 4. We're going to go over what it is and how to get started with it. The gameplay ability system is a framework to help you create any ability that you can think of. It allows you to create action abilities, something like shooting a fireball, or even passive abilities like a strength buff. It even has a system to implement cooldowns and resource cost. The effects of our abilities have a level of strength. This allows us to easily scale our abilities as our character levels up. We can activate particle effects, play sounds, all in a simple system that is effectively networked. Let's review the primary pieces of the system. Gameplay attributes. These are your character stats. This is the data that will drive the entire gameplay ability system. Gameplay abilities. We will go over how this system acts as the engine. It will orchestrate all of the pieces, like who the target is, which effects we are applying, and which cues to play. Gameplay effects are the brains of this framework. This is the part of the system that is responsible for actually dealing damage, applying buffs, or applying debuffs. Lastly, gameplay cues. This is how we will incorporate an audio-visual element to our abilities, such as spawning particle effects and playing sound cues. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get our hands dirty. We're going to launch the Unreal Editor. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Select Game, and then select the third person template. And the only setting we're gonna change is we're gonna make this a C++ project. I'm gonna name this project Tutorial. Feel free to name it whatever you like. I'm gonna fast forward through this bit. It may take a while. Once this is done loading, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is enable the gameplay ability plugin. This can be done by selecting edit, going down to plugins, and searching for gameplay abilities. Once your project restarts, we're gonna switch over to Visual Studios. We are looking for the .build.cs file. This can be found under source and then your project name. Once you find it, we're gonna add a couple of dependencies. In the public dependency module names, we're going to add three new modules that we need. The first is gameplay abilities, second, gameplay tags, and third, gameplay tasks. With those added, go ahead and rebuild. And if you did everything right, the code should compile and the editor will start up again. And there you have it. Your project is all set up and ready to get started using the gameplay ability system. Check out part two where we will go over implementing the gameplay attributes for our character.